Um, welcome to Ask Endocrinology channel. I am Dr. Grace and with me uh, is Dr. Hope. Hello and welcome. Yes, so today we'll be talking about obesity. Obesity is a common and a very big global health challenge this day and it is important that we talk about obesity and the reason is because of its complications and things that could happen if you don't control your weight and basically what is obesity so obesity is when you have too much body fat that it's excess than what you require and it could lead to different health conditions and uh, how would you know if you have if you are obese it, this is something you can actually do and check yourself at home in the comfort of your house just take your phone calculate do your some simple calculation to cal calculate something called the body mass index this is one of the way the second way is through your waist circumference and we use the waist circumference for people who have a lot of muscle mass especially bodybuilders and their body mass index can be increased and that doesn't mean that they have too much fat so if you are that person it's best to calculate your weight using your abdominal circumference it's very simple you use the regular tape row and measure your waist circumference if it is more than 40 inches in a, and you're a man then you are obese if it is more than 35 inches and you're a woman then you are also obese and this is one simple way the second way is to do your body mass index for short bmi and this is your weight divided by your height square if you have less than 18.5 then you are underweight if you are between 18.5 to 24.9 then you have a healthy normal weight and this is what we want and this is what we all want to be at this value now if your weight if your bmi is greater than is between 25 and 29.9 you are overweight you are not too busy yet but you are lead, working in that direction greater than 30 or equal to 30 greater or equal to 30 means you are obese now obesity itself can be mild moderate or severe and these are reclassified into one, two, three. For class one, if your BMI is between 30 to 34.9, you are class one. Class two is 35 to 39.9. And class three is greater than 40. So what are the things that can cause obesity? What are the reasons why we could be obese? Some of which you know, and some of which you need to know. So Dr. Hope is going to talk to us about the causes of obesity and the risk for obesity. Let's listen. All right. Hello, everyone, again. So what are the causes of obesity? One of the main causes of obesity includes taking in too many calories. So taking in foods that are high in sugar and uh, less fruit and vegetables and also empty calories in sugary drinks are it increases your risk of weight gain. Um, also inactivity, so not getting enough exercise and just decreasing your walking um, and being more sedentary can increase your risk of obesity. So other important factors include family history. So a family history um, of obesity gives you a higher risk of developing obesity yourself, but the, the risk factors include your gen, a genetic risk and also social um, lifestyle. So just a lifestyle of eating more and the types of food that include maybe foods that are very high in carbohydrates and uh, foods that are less nutritious like fruit and vegetables. What are some of the other risk factors for obesity? Uh, so pregnancy, so people who have become pregnant um, and after delivery, they may not be able to lose that weight that they gained during pregnancy. Um, quitting smoking. Uh, people who quit smoking are at higher risk of developing uh, obesity as well. Uh, lack of sleep, stress are also important risk factors for obesity. So what are some of the complications of obesity? 
So some of the most important complications of obesity include uh, heart disease and stroke, uh, type two diabetes, certain cancers put you at high risk. Uh, you are at high risk of developing those like cervical cancers, uterine cancers, breast, even prostate cancers. Um, other things include digestive problems. So heartburn can develop from um, obesity. Sleep apnea, um, which is a disorder of sleep that causes uh, snoring and also uh, decreased breathing during sleep and daytime sleepiness. Osteoarthritis uh, with pain can be a complication of obesity. Uh, fatty liver disease and severe COVID symptoms. So people who develop COVID that are obese are more likely uh, are more likely to develop severe forms of COVID with more complications. So this, those are some of the risk factors and complications of obesity. Awesome, that's very beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Hope. So uh, take on point for today, we're just going to talk about uh, to let you know that if you are obese, if you check yourself and you see that you're obese, uh, there are ways, many ways to take care of yourself. And you don't just have to take the diagnosis and sit with it. You re should remember that obesity is also a disease. It is a medical condition that needs to be treated or that needs to be reversed. And which means you have to seek your doctor's opinion and know what you can do to lose the weight. Uh, subsequent videos, we are gonna talk about the symptoms you can have if you, have if you are obese and what are the treatment options available out there that you can also have for, the, for, the, uh, for your obesity. Uh, but remember that if you have any of these causes that Dr. Hope has mentioned, we want you to check yourself and see if you can start adjusting basic things that you can control right now and start living a healthy lifestyle. Don't wait until tomorrow. Start making your change from today. Remember, the more you know, the better you are. So we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.